Zelda Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. In the last episode, we explored more of the southern part of Hyrule Field. We got our way to Outskirts Stable. We couldn't quite get the Great Fairy, but we did some side quests. It was pretty interesting. We fought some Yiga Clan members, but we're still trying to, of course, make our journey down over here to um, the Gerudo region. To do that, I think we need to head this way, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, right down this path, and it looks like this tower way up here. I do remember getting that tower in Breath of the Wild as well, and it was quite challenging. That'll be our goal for today's episode, is to get as far as we can into this region. Maybe get that tower. It would be really helpful if we could. It's still a lot of traveling, though, and speaking of traveling, we're gonna be running into some monsters on our travels, and here are some of them right here. It looks like we got some ferocious soldier constructs and captain constructs, but they're actually fighting choo-choos right now. So I guess, you know, that's pretty good. Ooh, you guys just don't look happy. I do have pictures of all these guys though, right? It looks like I do. They really are just keeping busy over there. Hey, let's fight you, or at least knock you off. There we go, I got you pretty good there. I'm trying to steer clear of the jellies as much as possible. I don't quite need the strong construct bow just yet, but it seems like they're all keeping pretty busy in a nice way. Okay, there we go. Now we can come up and just sort of clean the scraps, really. That's all I want to do. Oh no, watch out! And then, oh, I dropped my sword. Uh, all my, I dropped all my stuff! Okay, can you stop? Let's see what we can do here. I can maybe just freeze you for a second. Please don't use my stuff. Here, pick all this up. I got most of it back. Yeah, here it is. And then, boom, and then one more attack. Should do the trick. There it is, but oh no, I got zapped again. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been bad. Luckily, we were able to keep on to our health here. And as you can see, we get a treasure chest for our trouble. So let's just grab as much stuff as we possibly can, first and foremost. Beam emitter cup, whoa. Whoa, that's cool. Doesn't do much damage out, so might leave it. I mean, could I? Whoa, that's wild. I definitely want the horns, the horns and stuff. My Captain Reaper too is definitely worth getting. This shield? Probably not the best compared to what I had. I just don't know what I had one. Or maybe I just had some extra slots. I don't know. Um, no, it's right here. <laughs> it just looks like a rock right now. But this is a strong or mighty construct bow. That is absolutely worth getting. So if I could just drop you know, the traveler's bow, I might as well. Which I do have a picture of. No, I don't have a picture of the traveler's bow. Wow, okay. Well, glad I fixed it there. I do need some health really badly. I think now might just be a good time to drink that one potion I have. There we go. Now I'm with the full, and I have four bonus hearts, so feels pretty good. Get some Hylian tomatoes over this way. We're gonna open up this treasure chest to see what's inside, and we get five portable pots. I was just thinking about how it'd be nice to use some, because we really do need them. Anyways, rock hammer, break open these barrels, and then once again, this is just a strong one, not a mighty one, but that's still probably better than a soldier's bow which I also just need to make sure I got a picture of because now I can't trust myself. <laughs> but it looks like we're getting a little bit closer to all this stuff over here. I'm a little curious to see what this is about. We got to the Dig Dog Suspension Bridge. This is where there was something around here, some kind of side quest we could keep in mind. I know that, if I'm not mistaken, this is where we could find a Hinox in Breath of the Wild. I don't see anything like that around here now. Oh, is that a, I thought that was a person over there. I was like, wow, look at you. Not quite the case, though. Seems like there might be a lot going on here, but none of it's like too worth worrying about. There's a stable out here? All right, hi. Getting used to this place. Mini stable, cool. Hey, buddy, if you're going to Gerudo Canyon over the suspension bridge, you better be careful. I used to have a stable in the canyon. But ever since the upheaval sent the weather all screwy, horses hate the place. No horses meant no travelers, meant no business for my stable. I was ruined. I had no choice but to relocate open a, and open a mini stable over here. But boy, do I miss the old spot. Still got both your ears, or did I talk off, uh, talk one of them off? Anyway, let me know your name so I can confirm that you're a stable member. Uh. Your name is Link, you say? You're on the stable member list. Here, I'll give you one point to commemorate your first visit to my humble stable. That means we're only two points away. What brings you here? A uh, mini stable? I'm running this mini stable all on my lonesome, so I can't afford, or I can't offer as many services as a regular stable can. 
but I'm happy to help you register board or take out a horse. Sorry I can't give you any pony point rewards here. You'll have to do it at a proper stable. Anything else you need? I don't think so. If the horses aren't going to be going into the, the desert, then I might as well not take mine out. The inn there's closed now, but if you're gonna stop a Gerudo Canyon stable, remember to be careful. The upheavals turn the road leading to, to it into a river. Getting there is sure to be a rough journey. All right then, we'll have to keep that in mind. So I won't bother getting a horse out, because they said it, the horses just won't go there anyways. But there definitely used to be a Hinox here, I guess maybe not anymore, since this giant thing fell here. Maybe it scared them off. Ooh, got some little bundles of wood, and plenty of extra stuff in here, I'm sure. Some extra arrows. What about over on this side? I mean, obviously there's that little island. Thank you, Tulin. Didn't mean to do that, though. And there's a rock over there. I don't think it's worth really going back over there and messing with it, though. Hmm. It seems like there's a lot of little outposts here. I guess, you know what, it's one of the survey teams, isn't it? I feel bad taking all their supplies, but hey, I can make good use of them, so. Well, and we can cook here, I definitely need to do that. The secret is, what should I make everyone for dinner? They're all looking forward to, their, to the meal, so I can't disappoint them. Oh, I haven't seen you before, I don't think. Are you here because you've heard about me? Well, it's all true. I'm the one in charge of keeping the members of the researching team healthy and happy. And I figured out the secret to keeping them energized. Want to know what it is? Absolutely. Aww. Of course you do, and I'll tell you. It's all about what they eat. When it's hot outside, you should cook up meals using chill shrooms. When it's cold, substitute sun shrooms instead. It's amazing how well the body can hold up to high or low temperatures if you've used the right ingredients. <laughs> Well, want to try it for yourself? I'm sure you do. Feel free to use this pot. we Will do, so we'll be making some nice, useful food here in just a moment. Got some more mushrooms to grab over here. But uh, we're gonna be heading into a very hot area, so being able to make food that'll keep us heat resistant is great. We already have a few of them here with these rice balls that we've been getting from Addison, but if we could get some more like that, I think it'd be a great idea. So we can even check the recipe for this if we wanted to, and you can see it's mostly just like tabantha wheat and stuff like that, but um, uh, we want more heat resistance, and you can sort of see that on the bottom. It is very cool that we can just per peruse our recipes this way. Um, as we're looking through it, I guess it won't be new anymore. Gotcha, so, then so we can make more fairy tonic things too, which is cool. Uh, I don't see a ton of heat resistant stuff here. But I think what's also cool is that like you could select it and just bring all the ingredients out if you already have them. But I wanna make some new things here. So I think chill shrooms, it said. We'll hold a few of these chill shrooms and then let's try a palm fruit, ooh. Let's see how this goes. We get a chili fruit and mushroom mix. I might wanna make some more stuff like that. Maybe I could do, this is the lotus seeds. Do we have any honey around here or anything like that? I don't know. Hmm. Ooh, let's do the meat. The meaty mushroom combo is usually pretty nice. Eat that. That gives us six minutes, and it's a chili meat and mushroom skewer. This is new. Grants a low level heat resistance, a filling dish made by grilling various mountain ingredients with meat. Cool. What else can we do around here? I think the cool saflina will increase our heat resistance. What if we just combine this with chill shrooms? That'd be super chilly, right? The chili steamed mushrooms grants high level heat resistance, a healthy vegetable dish achieved by steaming mushrooms in plant leaves. It gets 10 minutes of heat resistance. Exactly what we need. So the one other thing I did want to do here is probably combine hearty radishes with some things. So if we could do that and maybe some meat. That might be a good idea. It was a nice super hearty meal. The hearty steamed meat restores your health and temporarily increases your maximum hearts. This meat dish has been wrapped in fragrant leaves and steamed to preserve its moisture. Cool. What if we used raw prime meat now? How will that work for us? It's just more hearty steamed meat. Actually, exactly the same. So, good to know. I'm gonna break this step open for even more. Sorry, gotta steal all of your stuff, but I need it, I need it. It's to save the kingdom. So what's going on with this giant chunk of ruins? Fascinating. Good day. Oh, might you be a traveler? I'm camping here so I can investigate the giant ruins that fell at the entrance to Gerudo Canyon. Just up ahead. Giant ruins? Rubble and ruins have been falling all over since the upheaval. 
but the ruins at the border are particularly immense. We have set up this camp so we can carry out a full investigation of that site. This area has a very harsh environment, but we make interesting discoveries every day, so it's worth it. Oh. If you like the unique ruins up ahead, you might also be interested in visiting Kakarika Village off to the east. The various ruins there are fascinating and definitely worth your time. Was there anything else? Gerudo Canyon? Oh. Gerudo Canyon is a huge canyon to the south. It leads to Gerudo Desert, where you can find Gerudo Town. However, lately the days in Gerudo Canyon have been blisteringly hot and the nights have been absolutely freezing. You'll collapse before if you aren't before long if you aren't prepared to deal with the extreme weather. For extreme for example, I've been maintaining a careful diet to help me deal with these extreme temperatures. Oh. If you want to know more, chat with the girl in the tent over there. She should be able to answer any questions you have. You should keep an eye out for other investigators or travelers. If you're going to pass through Gerudo Canyon, you may find others with useful information to share. Okay, good to know. And we got a sunshroom here. I'll grab that. So I probably want to also make some meals that will help us against cold resistance too, even though we do have some clothing for that. And why I want to do that, of course, is as I said, the night times get really cold. It's not just the heat of the of the day. It's the, the, the very chilliness of the night. Ooh, look at this. Inside of here, we already have a treasure chest. Cool little find. Portable pot. It really wants me to make sure I have this. So now we have a nice chunk of them. Don't see anything else really going on with this though, so I think we'll keep moving. Maybe a couple more bits of splash fruit to find before we get to another huge piece of ruins and there's something way over there. Okay. Get some spicy peppers, splash fruit, and I'll keep going for now. Ooh, I would love to get those. Maybe we'll find some new ones. You never know until you try. Talk to you first. Is it some kind of device? Hi. Good day. Um. What an unusual relic. And look, there's something inside. I believe this device is meant for somewhat some special purpose, but as for what that may be, who knows? Oh. Similar devices have been found in Kakarika Village to the east and Terrytown to the northeast. I want to unlock this gizmo secrets before the researchers in those other places do. I must. Well, I already know all about them. I can sort of give you a front row seat in some ways, so. Here we go. Just go over here. And I need to go all the way to the bottom to get a couple of these Zonai charges. And I also probably want to sort my stuff by uh, type. There we go. Put all those in. And we should. Get a bunch of stuff. Do we get anything new though is the question. I don't know, we got a big wheel, battery. Oh, we do get the stake, which we've used before. A Zonai device that can be fixed in place in the ground or on a wall. They've been used as footholds and building foundations because of their immovability when planted. It doesn't look like there's anything else new here, but glad to get what we could there. So did you see that? Are you interested in talking about it? You did it, you got it to work. How did you, wait, don't tell me. Let me figure it out. So if you put something on that dish, it gets sucked in. Yep, and then you get stuff out of it. So I did see over here, there's a big waterfall to swim up and we have the Zora armor, so I might as well give this a try. All right, let's go to one. I really wanna see what's up there, I'm super curious. And it looks like there might've been other ways to get there too, but if I can just use the Zora armor, might as well. So I'm gonna get launched up here a little bit, but I just wanna land into here. Whoa, this is a huge cave actually. Discovery, the Mount Naburu Shrine. Okay. This might be a little bit more expansive than anticipated. We have a while to go, so is this exactly what I wanna do right now? I'll at least put something in here. It looks like one's an offering. Usually it wants just like some food. So maybe I could just hold an apple and uh, drop that in. I missed. Uh, try that again. Old apple, drop it in. Didn't miss this time, but it's not what it wanted. Uh, so I don't know what you're looking for. Whoa, hey, are you a new one? You're not, but I'm still dealing with you. Drop anything cool. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, some pretty normal stuff over there. We'll still try to get across like this. I do see a chest down that way. Oh no. Whoa, okay. Don't have to deal with that too much. I will get over here and bust these two. 
just for some easy flint and amber. And then right down here, this chest is lodged in between these two. If I could just pick it up and then I guess put it here. I mean, it's sticking. Then I can just open it. Ta-da! What do we got? Knight's Halberd. Uh, this is a pretty nice one. Probably better than another eightfold blade. So we'll do that. Wait, didn't work. Uh, why can I just drop what I got? I know I can't care anymore, but I can definitely drop. Oh, can I not drop it here? Is that the issue? Yeah, okay. Well, I'll toss it one way or another. Now we'll get this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now I don't have to worry about it anymore. I would though, I have to get up here. Cause it seems like there's at least a couple of things waiting for us. Of course, oh yeah, I was gonna say we're looking for whatever friend might have the bubble jam and it will definitely be you. Where do you think you're going? There we go, we broke our mighty construct bow there, but we have plenty more to choose from. I might just do a strong construct bow for now. And while you're floating away, I will grab some extra goodies and get another bubble gem. We're up to five of them, which is always good. And ooh, you're new, I think. Right? Nope, hardy lizard, we've gotten it before. I don't think we've gotten a picture of it though. It might be something we bought from Beetle or another merchant. So actually, I should try to take a picture of it if I see another one anytime soon, just to be sure. So what else is going on around here? We do get this nice golden one. That's gonna drop some goodies, right? Actually, just amber. Okay, well, that was a little bit of a letdown. And I do see over here, luckily we can swim pretty fast because we have the Zora armor on. I'm almost through this. Yeah, I might as well just fully commit to it. Try to get up here. Didn't even have to use any of our extra stamina. We're out of the, the cave. Is that where we're gonna be heading to with you? Hey there, buddy. You doing okay? Oh, my friend and I got separated. Way over there. Oh, that's all the way at the rapids though. My friend is sending up a spoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Okay, this is something I will save for later. There you go. So we are, oh hey. Is there any way I could take a picture of a tumbleweed? I can't. We are sort of in Gerudo Valley now. I wasn't quite done with what we were doing before though, so I would like to get back over there if I can find a way. Oh, hey. Fire Breath Lazophos over this way. Where was I before though? I was over there, so I'm getting a little turned around here. Maybe I could, um, if I could get up here, that'd be great, but doesn't seem to give me that opportunity for some reason. All right, I might just wanna climb it, which if I'm climbing it, gotta change our gear again. I think back over to this stuff is probably a better idea. I think I can make my way up there. It's gonna be a little bit slow at first. I just wanna get back to where we were because there was definitely more stuff to find there and more people to talk to that were in the tents and stuff, so that has my interest for the time being but I think getting up here might be an easier way to sort of figure that out, because I don't know which direction we were heading. I might have to just do some backtracking, because I don't know if I'll actually make it up here in time. It's gonna be close. I might use some of my extra stamina, but I guess that's why we have it, isn't it? Okay, ready, and jump. Got it, that wasn't enough. Jump again, there we go. So where are we at it? It's straight over here, should be good enough. So I will. Jump up here, same way. Whoa, hey, we got a whole party over here. Hold on, hold on, they're digging. Their ice breath was off us. Well then, you know what we need. We need the ruby sword. Deal with these guys real quick. Hey guys, um, don't mind me. There's one, there's two, and wait, wait. I gotta let it like, recharge or something. Oh yeah, it's out of juice right now. That's a little bit scary, there it goes. Come on, there it is, boom. Easy way to deal with them, and with this, we do get ourselves a new weapon. This is a dragon bone boko bow. Nice. Glad to find this for sure. A boko bow reinforced by fossils. Boko blends handpicked the materials it's made from. So it boasts a respectable firepower. Definitely a good one to have. The other guys were all over here with different stuff too. Nothing too crazy though. Um, I do want to break this open. I think just with our uh, rock hammer. 
Ooh, it's cold up here. Okay. It's not nighttime yet, so that's very surprising. But I can just put on one of these, and that should help us yet return to the proper temperature. Good to see it. So was it right over here? No, I don't know what that fire is, but we'll figure it out soon enough. I just wanna get back to where we were. Which seems like it was right over here. Gotcha, I'm all caught up now. I'm figuring out where we were. Using up more of my stamina than I need to though. Ooh, got it. <laughs> Gerudo Canyon Pass. Whoa, and it looks like there's a lot of people here busy at work, deciphering these ruins. This is what I wanted to see. I hope they're okay. What's up? Hey! Oh, sorry if I seemed disappointed. I just thought our friends might have returned. Nenea and I lost sight of our of three of our friends on the road in Gerudo Canyon. We had agreed to meet here if we got separated, but there's still no sign of them. No longer, the longer they're gone, the more worried I get. What if they're lost or hurt? Ah. They're experienced travelers. I'm sure they'll be fine. They probably stopped to rest in a cave or under some shade along the road, since the canyon is gets so hot during the day. Not to say they'll travel faster at night. It gets so cold they might have to start a fire to keep from freezing. But they'll come back in due time. We just have to be patient. Mm. I hope you're right. Disaster in Gerudo Canyon. Quince, or maybe Quincy, Quincy got separated from his three friends on a trip to Gerudo Canyon. He's been waiting and waiting, but they haven't returned. He thinks in daytime, they're likely to rest in a cave or some shade by the roadside. At night, they might make a fire to deal with the cold. Be sure to help them if you see them. Will do. Mm. I understand your concern, Quince, I re but I, I really, I do. But what if we went searching for them and they came back while we were gone? They'd, they'd think we'd abandon them. Best for us to be patient and wait here, as difficult as that may be. Oh. Three of our friends still haven't come back. I'm worried, but all I can do is wait. Oh. I don't need to tell you how freezing cold Gerino Canyon gets at night. I'm sure they're resting in a cave by the road with a nice warm fire going. They'll come back, you'll see. Mm. If you're heading, heading to Gerudo Canyon, then all I can say is be careful. Little deal. Looks like we got some stuff way up there. I can't wait to check that out. It's getting cold. Oh. Good evening, it's dark out, so mind where you're walking. Oh. Are you here to help us with the investigation of these ruins? Thanks to the extreme temperatures around here, we're only able to work a little bit at a time. The nights are so cold that without a fire, you could freeze solid, and the days, just so, so hot. <laughs> really, the only thing to look forward to is Fenland's cooking. Her meals fill me up with enough energy to forget about the temperature. It must be some kind of secret recipe. It definitely is, in some ways. And then I did see a Gerudo person over here. Hi, be careful out there. Ooh. Three, there, there has been some abnormal weather beyond this point. Blazing heat during the day, freezing cold at night. It's dangerous to be in the area, though you can take some precautions to prepare yourself. To that end, I'm going to ask you a few questions to make sure you can handle yourself. If you aren't able to answer my questions, I will not let you pass. Well, ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. How can you best warm up when it's cold? Vigorously fan myself, pour water on my head, stay near a fire. Definitely this one. <laughs> Correct, but the first question is the easiest one. Oh. The second question is a bit more difficult, so pay attention. One, it is very hot out. Where would, should you go to cool off? A bright sunny spot, a nice shady spot, or upwind? Of course, I think a nice shady spot. Oh. That's exactly right. I'm glad that you appear to have some survival skills. By the way, dousing yourself in water would also be a good way to cool off in the blazing heat. Keep that in mind. Oh. Okay, question number three is very important and more difficult than the last two. What cooking ingredient is effective at fending off high temperatures? That would be the chill shroom, I would suppose? Oh. Exactly right, I'm impressed. Many have had trouble with that question. Ah. Last question, where in Gerudo Canyon, could you go to avoid getting affected by the extreme temperatures day or night? Into a cave, into the shade, near the ruins. I think into a cave. <laughs> All right, you pass. With so much knowledge at your disposal, I'm sure you'll be fine out there. Oh, and you can take this with you too. Ooh, get a spicy pepper. Oh. If you cook using this, you can stay warm for a while, even at night. Anyway, you can head on through, take care. Well, it was nice talking to you. I don't see anybody else to converse with around here, but I will climb all the way up here. Just out of curiosity if there's anything more to do, because it looks like there's a little entry there or something. So, 
we'll get up there ourselves and just sort of see what's up. Right now, it seems like it's gonna be easiest to just go up like this, maybe use Ascend. Right there. That'll save us some time for sure. Got it. And then maybe just use it again. Is it really all that much faster? Who knows? But here I am. Okay, so there is something in there. But how do I get inside? It's sort of hard to tell from this angle. If I were to just try to grab it, I mean, that works, but I can't just suddenly get in there. So maybe I could get farther up. Right through that branch, apparently. Give me that option for just a second. It's always a little frustrating when it does that. Weird, okay, I just might have to climb it. Shouldn't it be too hard, right? Actually, is it even possible? It is, ooh, look at us. One more jump, should do the trick, we got it. Is there any way down in there from here to get that treasure chest? Right now it doesn't look like it, actually. Huh, weird, I thought that there would be. Oh, here we go. But this is all blocked off too, you're kidding me. I don't know how to get in there then. Doesn't seem like there's a clear way. Unless we can go under it. We can't go under it. Uh, but I could still at least get back up to the top. There's gotta be some better way to get in there. Wait, oh, I think I am in here. Okay, cool. Is there a treasure chest for me? Wait, where was this entrance? Oh, oh all the way on this side. How did I miss this? Okay, so that means that there might still be more above. Hmm. I don't see an easy way to actually access any of that, because this is way too high just to send into. I mean, I could, ooh, wait a minute. Ah, oh, so tricky, so tricky. That's clearly not what I'm intended to do, though. Right here. Why is it only for a passing moment? It's like this perfect angle. And it, it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't give me very long to do anything with it, so I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, maybe from here? Ooh. Here. Will this lead anywhere cool? Probably not. It'll probably just bring me to the top. Yeah, darn. I don't know how to get to that treasure chest. I mean, if I really need to brute force it, which at this point I really just want the treasure chest, what we could do is get one of these hover stones, right? Get one of those out. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, no, it did. Where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> My friends were in the way. So I just need to hit it and then bring it upwards as high as I can and then ascend through it, just like this. And that should give me enough height to ascend through the next part, I would hope. Yes, it is. Up we go. Perfect. So it shows, you know, we always have space to get creative and then right behind us should be the treasure chest, right? Here it is. Boom, we got it. And we get three steering sticks. So we use one hover thing to get three steering sticks. I'll take that. That feels like a pretty nice reward. And now we're back out here. So I think at this point, our goal is just to sort of continue traveling down this way as much as possible. Uh, throughout today's episode, just follow this path and see if we can't end up in Grudo Town. It's definitely gonna be a bit of a winding path, so I'll have to see like what the end result ends up being, but for right now, I see you over here, and then maybe I could, wait a minute, could I drink and get more stamina? One more, and then, ah, oh, couldn't quite get that last one. Somebody's playing a horn on me? I really didn't get too much for that. I was hoping for a lot more from that one. Maybe because I missed a couple of shots or something. I don't know who's attacking me right now. Oh, it's you. Wait, are you new? You don't look like the other wolves that we've taken pictures of. Yeah, this is a wasteland wolf. Or coyote. Whoa, cool picture too. Well, I didn't want to cause problems with you, but here we are, so I'm so sorry. I'll have to finish it there. Get some raw prime meat out of it. And it looks like there's a cave to head into here. Hello, gotcha. <laughs> Oh no, there's a poor traveler in here. Oh, this is what happened to those guys. Okay, so this is a very feisty office that we can knock out in one hit, get a rusty broadsword as well as a couple of other things, but more than that, is there more? Uh, oh, hey, there we go. 
what cave are we in right now? The Starry Plateau Cave. All right, don't worry guys, I'm just gonna get that bubble gem for you. Well, I look, there's only one person in here. Are you okay? Help, lizards, big lizards. Oh, there's more of them? Uh-oh. Well, let's deal with you then. If I go all the way back over here, you can see that I can just... Wait, no, that's wrong one. Oh, did it break? I think it broke. Okay. Um. Then in the meantime, if I could just electrocute somebody like that, that might be a good idea for now. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and make a frozen one in just a moment, but armor-shaped spirit, just to jab away at you guys a few more times, might be a good idea. And I can also always just throw an ice through like that, and then, did that get both of them? I think I got both of them, cool. Bunch more to grab from that, and then we can talk to you again. Where are you? Here you are. Wow, you're strong, woo. You might think I'm a hopeless coward, but you wouldn't be entirely wrong. But I'm also a bodyguard. I was traveling with my friends, but we got separated. Then I saw this monsters and I completely froze up. <laughs> Don't tell anyone, okay? Oh. I'd better get going. My friends will surely feel safer with a fearless bodyguard by their side. <laughs> See ya. Well, that's one of them saved then. And disaster in Gerudo Canyon. Quince got separated from his free fr three friends on a trip to Gerudo Canyon. You found one, but two are still lost. He thinks in daytime they are likely to rest in a cave or some shade by the roadside. At night, they might make a fire to deal with the cold. Be sure to help them out if you see them. Well, there's one down. We have to find two more. But in the meantime, let's get this amber. What's with all this spike weeds? Oh, under them? Whoa. Oh, I broke it, darn. Uh, I can get some spicy peppers. And a treasure chest, interesting. It's a night shield, I really need that. So we'll definitely drop, I guess, the Dragonbone Boko shield. I thought that was the Ruins Rubble shield. I mean, I feel so attached to it because I made this cool thing with it, but I just gotta leave it. Um, what else can we do around here? A traveler's sword that I don't really need too much of, but I'll take it. And then I guess we'll just use a spike iron ball hammer to break this one. Cool. So with all that figured out, we just gotta continue down this path. There's plenty more enemies to find and deal with. It is a bit chilly out here, but we still have everything. And look, it's Addison. And then is that another? We've been finding a lot of those guys around here. Interesting. And there's another cave over there too. So it seems like there's a lot to discover. But you, before we go too crazy with it, I need to get a sapphire back out wherever those might be, right over here, nope. Hold, and then I just wanna drop it, switch over to our brand new, the Magic Scepter. I've had this for a while and just haven't really been using it. And then, Magic Scepter, whoa. So I think this will have more range. Yeah, way more range. Wait, wait, I'm not supposed to use that against you. That would just embolden you guys, wouldn't it? Here, that'll help a little bit. One more, one more for real, gotcha. Cool, so defeat those enemies really easy with the power of the elements, that's always fun. And I think for now we'll just keep this sword out. So I have a lot of stuff here now. Grab it all of that. The Knight's Halberd is still here. Don't need to worry about that too much. It is pretty late at night at the moment. I haven't been into that cave. We could find more of those people, so I guess it's worth doing. Okay, I probably should have. Scared you away a bit more. A purple rupee, whoa, huge rewards from you. Purple rupee is 50 of them. That was amazing, well worth it. Over 600 rupees now, and now we can head into this cave where there is two more Lizothos and probably somebody else to save. So I can get back out here like this. Okay, okay, discovery. This is the Mount Nubaru save S South Cave. Boom, got you both. Now we get a fire breath Lizalfo's tail, a tail that has stored up some heat from a scorching hot environment. Fuse it with a weapon to add a lashing whip-like ability to attacks or cook it into an elixir. Great. Now all this stuff I need to break open. I can handle it though. First start with the iron ball hammer. That was good. And then over here I see this, gotcha. Oh no, what do you want? Pick you up, toss ya. Nah, what was that about? Why did it explode? Weird. Maybe there isn't anybody in here. I thought that we'd find another person for that quest, but I mean, there's gotta be more. 
the Mount Nauburu South Cave. There's There's gotta be more somewhere. I'm not seeing anything to break though. Usually there's something. I'm a little confused. So let's just take a look around with this. I'm not finding much other leads. I'm really confused about that. Then maybe there's like something above. How far up will this bring us? Probably to the surface. Yep. Let's go back. I'm a little confused at the moment. Cause like the thing is, every cave should have a little frog button. I don't see any here or any openings to get farther in in any way. Oh, this is new, by the way. Uh, what is this? This is just gonna be a gnarled long stick. So I will take a picture of it and we'll pick it up. I can't carry any more melee weapons. Okay, I don't need the Eightfold Blade. Actually, even more than that, I don't need the Traveler Sword. All right, the gnarled long stick. A long stick made bumpy at one end. It shoots, or when it shoots, we're cut off. It has high at higher attack power than a normal stick. Cool. So with that done, what are we doing in here? I'm actually totally stumped on this one. I looked around, I couldn't really find like another entrance or anything. So I think we'll just leave this one. Yeah, I don't really see anything unless there's something up here. This is my best bet. If not, we still have plenty of progress to make. So I should probably just be focusing on that. Um, yeah, there's certainly not anything up here. So weird, this might be the first cave where we're just sort of leaving without a bubble gem. Usually they're not that hard to find. That one just didn't have any leads to it. Maybe it just doesn't have one. That'd be weird though, because every single other cave that we've really explored has had one. Hmm, there is another fire over there. I wonder if there is any of those friends. It's not nighttime anymore though. They stay near the fires during the nighttime. Oh yeah, and we have another one of you. Okay, I need to reach my friend. Oh, my friend and I got separated. Way up there, that's not too bad actually. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. I'm so tired though, I can't move. Okay, so I guess we could help with that. I wonder how far we are from the tower. New road could be rough, old road. Beware of high water. Let's try the new road. I'm here to experience new things. We're trying the new road. Even if it's tough, I think I can handle it. Okay, whoa, there's a lot of stuff over here. Including some extra stuff over there. Okay, so actually, oh, this could be actually not that difficult. I attach you to this, and then we just bring the whole thing out, put you up here, and then if I just keep going, I can just keep bringing you with me. This might be the easiest way to travel with one of you yet. Why, Link, just stand on there. What are you doing? Grab this, bring it up, keep moving. We're almost at the top now. I can't really grab you from this angle though. And then put you up here. Turn that around just so that I can make sure it's actually stuck in there. Gotta be extra careful. A yeah, pretty easy one after all. And there's your friend. Okay, two more Korok seeds for us. That was a really easy one, so happy to get them. We're up to five in total. Bye. Okay, I made it thanks to you. I'm glad. So yeah, we're continuing down this path, which might end up being difficult. We'll have to wait and see. Obviously, there's some stuff above us, too. But you can only travel one way at a time, right? Honestly, I am a bit tempted. Is that a, that's a Goron up there. Okay, I was gonna say, I'm a bit tempted to make some kind of vehicle, but if we can find some interesting things along the way, I might not worry myself with it too much. Here it goes. What are you up to? Whoa, you're fighting people? Okay, wait. I, I really admire. He's got his dukes up and everything. Wow, here, hold on. Got both of ya. Cleared ya, no problem. That was too close. Glad I could help you then. Um, can we talk to you? Good morning, or as the Gerudo say in, the, in their language, Safalta. <laughs> I just wanted to try saying it. The cliffs around here are so high. I'll have to take the long way around. I wish I had things like th those wings like the Rito do. It'd be so easy to just fly over the cliffs then. It would be. Good luck on your travels. Stay safe out there. And I guess we will, uh, 
I do want to drop one of these. Drop, because I don't think I have a picture of it. If it can even be pictured. It can't be pictured. Okay, then we're good. Do I hear a fairy? Oh no, I hear the, the, the shininess of my wand. I was like, what is that noise? We know, we know. But it feels like, you know, I'm, I'm slowly getting there. It's, it's you know, not, we're not gonna be able to get there today. But we can at least get a whole lot closer, I think is the general goal. And we're not too hot here. You know, actually, the pants on that keep me warmer. Doesn't seem to be an issue though, so I'll change it when it is. Which maybe the farther out into the desert we go, the more of an issue we'll run into. I was expecting to find a little bit more on this difficult road, like monsters and challenges and stuff, but so far it's just a road. So, uh, can't really complain. What is going on? Okay, over here. You know what? Help me out here, buddy. Ready? Whee! Boom! I don't think that hit anybody. But I do want to get Sidon. I haven't been using Sidon too much because, to be honest, it's not as versatile of a move. But I'm very curious to see if it will. I won't really deal with them the way I want it to. But okay, I can get over here. And <laughs> it's just so easy to defeat them that way. I just can't help it. What about this? Yeah, the Fire Talon, I've also taken a picture of. We do have a Traveler Spear, as well as some Soldier's Claymores, but. I don't need much of it. Or it looks like they were sort of just hanging out waiting to ambush us. But I got the, the sort of the catch on them. Whoa, these are new birds. They're like crows. The woodland crow, right? Is that what that said? The mountain crow. I don't know why I thought it said woodland. Okay, very cool to see that then. Another type of bird. I might be able to get out there, but if I could just use these, because I never really take the opportunity to use these. This makes for some really easy fights, some very quick progress. Really happy to take that. Okay, we're heading up here. We're sort of zigzagging our way up, so it doesn't seem like we're making it to the right way, but I think we are in the end. Do you have a treasure? Oh, you do. Is that a new kind of Aracuda? Nope, it's the same old Aracuda we've seen many times before. Okay, so I might just wanna wait for them to get a little bit closer. I think they'll probably loop back around, hit them with an arrow, grab that free treasure chest. Here they come. Okay, ready. As they get a little bit closer, they might end up even noticing me or not. Hey, gotcha. Thank you, but wait, wait, wait. Don't let that get too far. What do we get inside of this one? 10 arrows, so I only wasted like two or three, and I get, so like, what, six or seven in return, maybe even eight. Let's get over here. Not seeing too much going on. I was expecting a Addison for a moment, but nope, they're not around. Oh, there's a cooking pot over here, which once again, we haven't even needed it yet. What is that over there? That's another tumbleweed. I thought it was like a monster for a second. Honestly, we've been fine. It really hasn't been too much of a struggle for the supposedly harder path. I think it was more so the weather than anything else. I will hop back down here and then, boom, get rid of you guys too. And then let's also break this open. I guess I'll use the spike iron ball hammer. Oh, one more time. Get a lot of goodies from that one. You can tell this whole Gerudo region, it's very, very vast. And that tower is still pretty far off. Ooh, the temperature is getting very high. Find a way to cool down or you'll take damage. See, this is what we were, what we were worried about. So I don't need these pants anymore. If I take these off. So would this give me heat resistance? No. Uh, What if I were to wear all of this? I'm very curious. It doesn't really work this, the way you would think. But we can, you know, take clothes off. And that helps to some degree, but it's still not enough. And that is um, where, I guess we should just get this gear on for now. Well, that's where our food comes into play. We have plenty of this heat resistant food. We're gonna start with, I probably should have made an elixir, because you know, a lot of this restores health too. But this gives us five minutes of it, so there we go. Well, I mean, if I wanna make an elixir, now is my opportunity to, hold on. I can make a chill shroom elixir right over here. There was a, uh, there's a cooking pot. That'd probably be for the best in most situations. Just that way I don't have to restore health or I can save the health restoration for when I actually need it. 
So right over here, I'll need to find some flint and drop that first. Uh, right over here. We have over a hundred flint. That's crazy. Drop it right there. Hopefully that's enough. It is. So, monster parts first. Is this sorted by type? There we go. All the way back down here. The thing we should have the most of are the Bokoblin fangs. We have a decent chunk of them. So I just need one, and then we want a bunch of, you know, different things like mostly the chill shrooms, I'd imagine. Would that work though? I mean, maybe I do need it to be, okay, chillfin trout. But no, once again, that's just, that's not an elixir part. That's sort of what I'm looking for. I don't know if I have too many of those is the thing. Like I have like a hardy lizard. Uh, I don't know then. Hmm. I could try these. I don't know if that would really work though. Maybe I'm overcomplicating this. Maybe we just don't have the, really the materials to make this happen. I could try a couple of the blues off those tails. Just something like that. But I really want to save those for the most part. Dubious food? Wouldn't that make an elixir? Oh, you know what? I forgot. Oh no, that's not really how it works, is it? I don't know. I thought it would. I guess just combining monster parts with monster parts. So that was a huge waste. Oh well, we tried. Anyways, oh, I do see somebody traveling along. I don't think that was one of the missing friends. I'm very doubtful. But we can at least go and find out. Hello there, traveler. How are you doing in all this heat? Very hungry. Ugh, it's blazing hot. Cool off in the shade if you're feeling faint. I hear plenty of travelers go through the desert in Gerudo Canyon and have collapsed since the, the climate shifted. It should be fine if you have food that suits the temperature though. Well, just make sure you don't overdo it. I'm trying my best not to, but sort of accidentally did. So what's going on over here? I don't think much for me to really touch upon. Oh, I did not mean to fall down here. Where is all that gonna lead? I wonder. Probably just, you know, along the walls of everything, which is great, but not really what I need at the moment. Yeah, just some alternative ways to get around. What is down there? Whoa, yeah, there's a lot of water. Which, you know, we have the Zora armor. Probably wouldn't be that hard to travel through that way. I just wanted to do the harder path, which is the new path, you know? Something new. But we'll definitely be traveling through all the different ways eventually as we get farther throughout the game. I guess for now, though, I, I would love to get to that one tower. That's a big goal. But to do that, things get complicated. Also, would that help? I think it does, if I were to attack now. Did that lower my temperature? I'm not sure. I mean, we're in the shade right now, so that probably also makes a bit of a difference. It's really hard to tell if we're going the right way still. <laughs> I guess as long as we're getting closer to this tower, it's, it's something no matter what. Hmm. Looking off in the distance of that very cold, snowy mountaintop makes me a little jealous. With all the heat that we're dealing with over here. Okay, so. Yeah, there's really not much here. I'm a little let down by how desolate this is. That's why I even avoided like making a vehicle because I thought we wouldn't really find much. I mean, we would be finding so much. <laughs> Sorry, that, uh, oh, there's Addison again. We'd be finding so much, we'd just be constantly hopping off of it, but nope, not the case. Okay, let's head up here though. I'm really curious. So I did see some fire. Maybe it wasn't here? Okay, let's go help Addison then. Oh, it was farther off. Hi, Addison. This one looks complicated. I'm here to help though. So, how do we wanna do this one? We have a lot of options, but I think what would be cool, if we did something like this. Well, first things first. Get this over, it looks like it could slot in. Oh, it can't quite, darn. That would have been good. But I guess if I were just to stand this up for now and then slot in this, it would work, right? It looks like it does. Hard to tell from this angle. All right, that's all nice and attached. So in theory, if I could just 
and get one of these. I wonder if that would stay still. It might not, but we'll find out. And now I just wanna lift it up. Maybe I'll just lift it up like this, just so that I can get this under. Don't attach it, just leave it like this. And then try to squeeze this back under. And this might not work, it might work. Okay, so the problem here is that that boosted the height too much. So I'll attach this like this. I'll try to squeeze that in. I don't know if that'll actually work now. Hmm. Now the issue though is it might fall forward still. <laughs> so this really isn't solving too much. Especially when it's just not attaching the way I want it to. So let's see if I can't just sort of trap it in like this. Now my concern is that it might fall towards me, but I guess I really wouldn't. It's pretty locked in. Okay, so let's see. Trial and go. It's staying. There we go. It's sort of dangling. He's standing. Okay, so it really is dangling. So yeah, you can get that all built up. And with it, Ta-da, another one done. Getting these done all over Hyrule. So, get the red rupee, <laughs> up to almost 700. Uh, we get the biting meaty rice balls, always good to have a cold weather attack boost. And then of course, a muddle butt, a wildfire with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell from from ah. five. We definitely need to start using those on enemies a bit more. If we could use those on the big guys to attack the little guys, I'd be happy with that. Okay, so what else do we have going on around here? I mean, I could also build a little something. I think I might want to. Hmm. I say that, but we're coming close to probably some interesting things. I don't know. But it'd be nice to build just a little wagon. That's not how I wanted that to happen. See, it always gets so picky with me. Right when I need it not to. You can see we're not overheating anymore. Oh, are you okay? I didn't even notice that you were there. So focused in on this. Are you all right? You were panicking. Uh, were you the one I talked to before? Good day. Or is, oh yeah, I think you were. Do you know about the tumbleweeds? Uh, they're the weeds rolling around in Gerda Canyon. It's fun to watch them, but did you know that they can break, you can, that you can break them open too? Sometimes you'll find something inside. Uh, things must get tangled up in them while they roll around. Interesting. So yeah, I guess I'll have to do that a little bit more often as I can just swing at them and sometimes find something inside. Okay, I'm just gonna give up, try to build something. Let's keep moving. Oh, we got more of the coyotes over here. Gonna avoid them, but you, I'm not gonna avoid. Uh-oh, gotcha. Just a couple more rupees would be nice. And anything cool around here? I do see you over this way, and whoa. What is going on down that way? Quite a lot, quite a lot. I might wanna get that marked on my map at the least, but let's talk to you really quickly. Somebody, Aww. ugh, can you help me? I was traveling through here with my friends, but I got too excited and split off from the group. Before I could find them, night fell and the chill set in. I got so cold, my joints froze up. I can hardly move, let alone walk the, all the way to where my friends were. Mm. I think a spicy pepper is just about the only thing that could, that'll warm me up. Here you go. Ah, how kind of you. You were war you're warming my heart. Now warm the rest of me. Let's cook. <laughs> yeah, let's cook up some nice food for you. Mm-hmm. Loose and limber. You really see me there. Seasoned chopper I may be, but I guess even pros make mistakes sometimes. Ah. My friends must be worried sick. I'll have to head out soon. Thank you for your help. I owe you one. So that's cool. There's a little bit more progress in disaster in Gerudo Canyon. Uh, Quinn's got separated from his three friends. Uh, you found two, but one is still out there. He thinks in daytime, they're likely to rest in a cave or some shade by the roadside. At night, they might make a fire to deal with the cold. Be sure to help them out if you see them. Of course, we're just looking for one more. So let's at least go down this cave a little bit so I can mark it on my map. Oh, and there it is. Okay, per per perfect. Uh, we got the 
Kuakot Plateau Cave. So, I will hit you again, I guess. Hey, don't attack me. And that'll be another bubble gem for us. Wasn't expecting to find it so easily, but glad that we did. And there's a couple more things to discover in here for sure, so I can break that open. And the other one. Get some cool stuff out of it. I did hear it's like a sand fall, not quite a waterfall. Very neat. But just because we found the bubble gem doesn't mean we found all there is to discover around here. We can get an amber and a sapphire, as well as a ball. Oh, it's a hot, a hot air balloon, okay. Lots of little goodies down here then. Might have to make the most of this to get back up. Or not, I mean, we don't technically need to. Here, might knock down a couple of these guys if I can manage like that, and then, gotcha. Let's fight these dudes. I think for right now, we'll just use the Soldier 3 Reaper. Just swing onto you as much as we can, because you're the higher health one. Should be harder to deal with, yeah, so. Just dealing with you like that is pretty nice. Grab some extra stuff out of it. Thank you, Tulin. Not really what I had in mind, but. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Here, we'll fight you before you can get me. Grab a bunch more Bright Bloom Seeds, and we are moving. What else is going on in this cave? I think we're sort of at the end of it. Got a lot more horrible claws over here too. Back to this. I'll break it open. And, oh, didn't mean to do that, but okay. Little critters under here. I think, yeah, that's sort of it. We're back out of the cave now, which in some ways is good, but I wanted to stay where we were in some ways too. Okay, now it's getting too cold. Can I head up there? Okay, right there, here we go. Should be able to get around where we were before. Probably shouldn't be too far off. Hey, yeah, sort of right on the ticket with it. With that being said, it's getting cold again, so we need to change our gear once more. I prefer dealing with the nighttime more than I do the daytime. I wonder what would happen if we slept through the day. Not quite sure, but we do have another bridge over here. So there's a couple more coyotes, and these things again, we saw one of these before. This one doesn't have anything to really donate to. I do see you over here. That'll be a pretty easy Korok seed. Nice. We found you indeed. That is our sixth one for our current inventory. I did break my bow, so I'll switch over to the Falcon bow, and then we'll get onto this bridge. I just wanna get farther along, because it feels like we are still so, so far. I mean, I guess maybe you'd be smarter to make your way to the, the tower then, because look at all the stuff around here. It seems, it seems like too much. I mean, I could swim up this waterfall too. Okay, you know what, we're getting over there. There's a lot to explore here, both like above and below. There's like a lot of levels to this. It might just be smarter to uh, ascend upwards wherever we can, like right here, and just get to that tower. If we could get another tower in today's episode, really clear up the Gruta Valley uh, map, I think that would be helpful. Okay, we'll just set the, ooh, not fall off. Oh, you know what? That would be particularly helpful. The game always knows how to want, want to drop these for me. Um, so we just want to bring ourselves back up. Here we go. Here we go, this is perfect. Cause this will give us a ton of height, get us all the way up here. I don't know what could be guarding this tower. Oh, there's another one of the cherry blossom trees, by the way. But here seems like the perfect spot just to get over to it. Oh man, we really lucked out with that one. Yeah, that's one of the cherry blossom trees for sure. And the Gerudo Canyon Skyview Tower. Really got it easy, I think. Can we open it? We can! Hooray! So, uh, it's not working. Uh, it looks like it's a little busted. What could the deal be then? Um, I don't see anybody around here. Oh, hey, it's our buddy. Let me keep that in mind. Um. Yeah, why is this one struggling a little? Nobody around here to talk to about it, it seems. Weird. 
Okay, so I guess maybe there were some consequences to you know figuring things out the way I did, but we can bust some stuff open. Just take a good look around here. There we go, got some good food. Could definitely make the most of that. And we could cook some of this too, if we need to. But I don't currently need to. What's up with all the stuff down here? Oh, there's people down here. Hi. Uh-oh. This is Sawson. Oh, and there's Addison back there. Hello there. So you came to see Skyview Tower too? It's a bit late to be working, isn't it? I hate to break it to you, but Skyview Tower is out of order. I'm here to fix it, but unfortunately the elevator is broken too. I can't get up to the tower to make the repairs. Gotcha. Oh. You see that metal bit up there? That, there used to be a platform attached to that. If you had enough weight, it'd go down and I'd go up. Ah. But the platform is gone and there's nothing attached to the metal bit, so I'm stuck down here. Oh. I obviously can't fix the Skyview Tower. Wish I knew some uh, of some way to get up th to the top. Well, I can certainly help with that one. Maybe just from here. Maybe too far up, at least from here. We'll also go talk to Addison soon enough. Oh yeah, right here, perfect. If I could just get all the way up from here, attach something to it, we'll be good to go. So we could just probably get one of these, right? And then I can just stand on it. And that should be enough to raise up our friend, I would hope. Uh, Here, hold on. Got it. And got it. So on its own, doesn't do too much, but then we can, are you kidding? Uh, great, hold on, get back over. I mean, there might be other stuff I can weigh it down with too. If I could just, hold on, I got an idea. I got a great idea. Really great idea. Best idea I've ever had. <laughs> Attach all these. Uh. Hopefully that's enough. <laughs> Making a big mess with this, but if it works, I'll be happy. So, go like this, extend it outwards, and attach. That does not weigh as much as I was hoping. Okay, so, it's sort of getting stuck. In hindsight, not the best idea. Lower it again, and then keep it there so that I can, no, come on, jump, Link, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, that was the worst. Ah, dangerous, I know, it's very dangerous. Let's try this, though. Why is this not working? Please, Link, if you mind, if you don't mind. That should lower it again, then I can stand here. But it's, it's, Seemingly not enough to lower. Oh, because the bar is in the way. Okay, so we're almost here. I don't need both of these anymore. I just need one. But I need it over there more. Something like this. Well, actually, I don't know. Because now it's gonna hit that one. So I just need a smaller platform in general, which those are all down there now. I've ruined everything. Wait a minute, what are you doing back here? I've got a big strong box. I guess I just need to investigate a bit more. So, put this here. Get rid of this thing. Don't even wanna see it. Toss it over here. Put this over like this and just have it line up in the center and that should bring you up, whoa, alarmingly fast. There you go. You okay? Yeah, you made it. All right, I've gone up. Oh. Are you the one who got the elevator working? You're amazing. I'll get to work fixing the Skyview Tower right away. So that's all we needed. Uh-oh, uh the drive assembly mechanism is stuck, probably from all the hot, hot hours of the day here. But if I swap out those parts for he-resisted he ones, yes, it worked. Ah. Thanks to you, I could fix the Skyview Tower. Please, take this for your trouble. we will get a chili steamed mushrooms. Very nice. Ah. If you're heading to the desert, make sure to protect yourself from the heat. It can get dangerous out there. Sometimes there's just no avoiding that heat. When that happens, a meal that'll cool you down should come in handy. All right, well, I'm glad to see that. Uh, anything else you gotta say? Sometimes there's just no avoiding the heat. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and activate this tower so we can be all wrapped up for today. Glad we can at least get this done. 
through the Grudo Canyon was quite a lot of work, but beyond this, we have the desert to get through. All right, well, let's give it a try. We'll be launched upwards, as we have many times before. And with this one, I'm hoping that we can uh, get some good ideas on how we can get to our next location. So there's just so much around here. It's up, down, all around, because there's like caves, there's really large dips, all that kind of stuff. Wow, what a view of this place. Very cool during the nighttime, for sure. So this whole area is gonna get scanned real quick. And there we go, whoa, such a huge section. The surface map updated, and you can see there's really a straightforward path to where we need to go. Through the Gerudo Desert. And the sky map updated. Cool. So all we need to do now is gently float back down to where we were. I don't see too many places in the sky to really get to this time. I do see a, a, a geoglyph over there. But I guess there's like one spot over that way, but most of that stuff I really want to save for some other time. I wouldn't mind just trying to get right back to where we were. Uh, right around here, yeah, so let's just keep diving. That way I just know exactly where to start because we just go out into the desert, try to get to Gerudo Town. It really shouldn't be too much of a challenge from here on out, I wouldn't think. But there we go. Oh, whoa, wait a minute, shooting star! I definitely want that, we haven't found any of these yet. Look at this thing. Can I take a picture of it? No, but it is a star fragment, a mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. Its gem-like quality makes it highly valuable. One theory is that it has the power to light up its environment. Very, very cool. So I'll have to do something with that eventually, but for right now, our sights are set on the Gerudo Town way in the distance, and along with it, Gerudo Desert. It's gonna be challenging to get through that for sure, but with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.